So there's an extensive body of research that's been done in second language acquisition showing that learners have problems with articles and these are problems that continue right up to advanced levels and it's commonly cited that learners who don't have articles in their first language are more likely to make errors but actually we know that um, learners who do have articles, for example Arabic speakers, still have problems when learning English because of the difference between English articles and their own first language article system. Now what I'm particularly interested in my own research is how what we know from this research on how articles are acquired has not passed on to the language classroom and not influenced the way we teach articles. Um, we've looked at the way articles are taught, they're often they're not taught in the same way that they're required. So for example, we know that the indefinite article is more difficult to acquire because it's semantically more complex because of the number restrictions on when you use it. But that's what's taught at the beginner level. So people are first taught how to use a and am, even though we know they're going to acquire the first. So there's a complete disparity between what we know about how articles are acquired and how they're taught in the language classroom. What we also find is that uh, many of the pedagogical grammars are quite a simplification of a very complex system. So it's only three words, but the restrictions and the rules of their use are incredibly complex. And so, um, the way that information is presented in grammar books, it has to be simplified because learners are expected to memorise this information and yet they can't then go on to use this information because there's key information that's missing. Um, in my own research, I've tried to look at ways to incorporate some of the um, more linguistically informed information into classroom instruction, but again, you still have to simplify it and therefore it still makes it, by simplifying it, the very process of that makes it then inaccurate in some level. And so for something that is as complex as articles, um, from my own research, I'm beginning to wonder if they can be taught, if they're perhaps one of those grammatical forms that are so complex that no matter how often you teach them, the learners are never going to learn them. And therefore you should spend your classroom time on other things that can be learnt more easily.